My streak is now open for 24-7 all regions. Let's go. That's really big for everybody. You can always play whenever you want. No, no, you don't need to wait anymore. That's a good feeling. Added a new mini map, updated base assets, and added a new unique hero icons. Very sick. Neutral camps are now represented by highlight glow on the buildings. They're located within the orange lane. Orchid is now green lane Greenwich. Okay, so I have to see that to know it. Added a new behavior system. Players can temporary, temporarily lose access to certain capabilities in the game. The controls include matchmaking, voice chat, text chat, pausing, reporting. The system for tracking is active now. However, we will wait on most penalties for a few days as we review the results. There is now low priority queue. Ooh, they brought the Dota stuff in. The primary way to enter this is abandoning games. Makes sense. We don't want. We hate people that abandon games, but it can include other behavior. You must com uh, complete the required amount of games escalates based on the low priority frequency to be able to return to using matchmaking normally. Regularly misreporting players will result you losing the report function, and main cases, uh, in some cases, cause you to go into lower priority as well. So don't troll the reports. So that's really good that they have that to counter that. New players are that are queued solo will only match with other new players that will until they get four wins. Okay, the lane allocation of one one two two and two two one one will no longer be a possible setup. A six-player party will no longer match against solo players. This may result in longer queues time for six stacks. AFK players will automatically be kicked out of the game after a few minutes. Beautiful. Abandoning match dialogue is now more clear about consequences of leaving. Abandoning match now is a time delay before you can click it to help protect against some accidental cases. Added a custom hotkeys per hero. Custom hotkeys per hero. I have to see what that means, but that sounds amazing. Bounce pad visuals have been replaced with a wind fan. No mechanic changes. Cool. This also uh, indicates the travel path. Nice. Added a little spirit frog legs to the solar. Cool. Orange simbline is now green. Ooh. Space bar no longer cancels abilities. Abilities can be pressed again to cancel the ones that, that have a cancel state. Let's go. I literally, I now I have to relearn that because I already learned space. The alternate, that's really good for me. The alternate cast modes modifier button and, and alternate cast button have, ch have their behaviors merged added a ui button hinting when using alternate cast button some extra added a slider for double tap alternate cast timing nice i, I don't even know what half this means change the scoreboard tab and extra info alt okay i need to do that Pre uh, previously there's a lot of crossover between the tab and all modes during gameplay in this update we have separated the behavior of these two modes to better severe uh i mean it's better serve uh, different functions the keys used to for each of these modes can be swapped with the key okay Scoreboard time enables cursor mode display scoreboard. Okay, okay, nice draw. I love that because I love to draw. Extra info no longer enables cursor mode. Quick upgrade abilities. Alt E can be individually remapped. Can now easily map Alt as an alternate cast button. Displays extra info. Client performance improvements. Game automatically starts preloading the map once the client has launched. That reduces load time for most users. Nice. Sandbox or man, this is so much. Added a console command and I create a console always using our servers. This has a very simple UI. Once you add a real UI to the MSP UI. Okay, nice. Upgrade ability keys for customizable. Added a maximus, maximum FPS slider dashboard in the game. Remove pause. I had testing. Added a support for launching the game. Metal skin. Seven static charge. Updated. Added. Holy shit. This I'll learn with time. Orbs, I just want to see buffs. Weapon items, wait, orbs, miscellaneous gameplay. Orb, orbs now f uh, favor the claimer rather than the denier when both when both impact within a very... Oh, whoa, what? What's up, Lucin? Orbs now favor the claimer rather than the denier when both impact within a very narrow window of each other. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that, but okay. Flex slots moves from the first walker to two walkers. Nice. All ability and item cooldowns increased by 6% globally. All item and ability cooldowns. Okay. Max respawn time now happens at 35 minutes rather than 40 minutes. Nice. T okay, so it's going to make games end faster. Tier 4 items cost... Reduced from 60 to 362. Shield regeneration time reduced from 60 seconds to 56. No way, JK. To make make deadlock easier. Wall jump activation has made more lenient. Wall jump launch angle cannot be steered a bit more. 
<laughs> mm, I want to see that. I think the worst part is that. Souls from bosses now appear much more spread out. Rope climbing speed increased from 13 to 14. Taking non dot damage while on a rope slows taking non dot damage while on a rope slows you by 30%. Oh, improved he heavy me melee hit registration. Nice. Mid boss warning not having a 60%. Nice. Walker beam max range, the sticky portion after being acquired. Reduced from 20%. Okay. Successfully parry CD. Reduced from 0 0.5 to 0 0.25. Fixed alt fires. Not working with conditional bonuses like close range. Melee troopers. Inbox proof. Fixed uh, medic troopers. Sometimes using the healing guard. Mix. Multiple heroes getting the power up bonus by standing on top of it before it spawns. Fix your gun reloading down to a smaller magazine when reloading with higher ammo than your max. Fix your gun reloading down to a smaller magazine when reloading with higher ammo than your max. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Headshot booster bonus damage reduced from 45 to 40. Interesting. High velocity mag. Oh, wow. They nerfed the restoration on healing from heroes increased from 35 to 40. Healing from troopers increased from 10 to 15. Wow. Hollow point round conditionally weapon damage increased from 20 to 22%. Rapid fire rounds rate reduced range from 12 to 9%. Rapid no longer provides minus 50 max health. Nice. Active reload life still reduced. Nice. Mystic shot spirit damage. Now considered bullet fall off. Okay. Mistake shot cooldown from 6 to 5. Nice. Okay. I don't mind that one second for the fall off. Ber uh, Berserker's bullet resist reduced from 8 to 7%. Small nerf for Berserker. Long range bullet shield increased from plus 90. Long range bullet shield increased from plus 90 to plus 140. Melee charge resistance bonus is moved to init section. Charge distance bonus is moved to an eight section. I don't understand that. Charge uh, melee charge passive now has an eight second cooldown. <gasps> when when passive, they nerfed it so hard. When passive triggers, you deal. When passive triggers, you deal bonus twenty percent melee damage. gonna get weirder my friend today you're making history your next heavy melee attack against an enemy does increase damage and reveals your weapon instantly need something for personal defense Wow, that's nice. What up, Polar Bear? What's up, Loki? How you doing? <sighs> now, UI indication, indication when it loads. Okay, wait. So, UI. Oh, okay, I see that. Soul Shredder Bullets weapon increased from 6 to 7%. Fleet Foot active move speed reduced from 4 to 3. Fleet Foot cooldown from 22 to 18 seconds. Fleet Foot health increased. Wow, Fleet Foot got a big buff. Warp zone range reduced from 13 to 11 meters. Ooh. Sharpshooter bullet health increased from 175 to 200. Hunter's Aura's bullet res reduction 10 to 9%. Tiny magazine bullet resist. Oh, tiny magazine got a buff. Alchemy power, spirit power increase from. Spirit power increased from 7 to 11. Nice. Crippling headshot debuff. Duration increased from five seconds for a lucky shot. Bonus damage increased from 80 to 90 percent. Glass cannon max stats from five to seven. Silencer damage increased from 15 percent to 20 percent. Frenzy linger duration from four to six. Vitality items healing right now grants three spirit power. Ooh, enduring spirit life's enduring spirit spirit life still increased from eight percent to ten percent. 
I see we're looking for something of a more mystical persuasion. Stay safe out there. What's up, Eccentrix? Yeah, trying to get this patch done. The game looks different, right? Does the game look different on the stream? It looks just looks different. I don't know how to explain it. Where's the wave? I want to see how much I life steal. Yeah, more light. Melee life steal, melee damage reduced from 15 to 13 percent. Health Nova now requires healing, right? Health Nova now grants four spirit power. Health Nova range reduced from 18 meters to 15 meters. Divine Barrier Bullet Shield reduced from 300 to 260. Spirit Shield, yeah, that needs to be nerfed. I hope they nerfed the passive. Rescue Beam Heal reduced from 30 to 26%. Cast range reduced from 45 to 36 meters. No longer requires healing, right? Fortitude. Stay two steps ahead of death, my friend. That's why I'm not hunting for a heal yourself now. You're looking to survive. You came to the right place. Rescue me, okay. No longer healing, right? Four to two lane troopers do not reset the passive region timer. Okay, that that definitely should wait. Melee damage reduced from forty to thirty-five percent. Majestic leap cooldown reduced from twenty-four to twenty-two. Metal skin reduced from twenty-two to twenty. Inhibitor fixed damage reduction on bullets not being reduced by percent. Right? Colossus, and, wow, Colossus cooldown forty. Phantom strike damage reduced from one fifty to seventy-five. Oof, got it. But spirit pie. Okay, these guys are geniuses, man. I don't even have to say anything. Phantom strike, spirit power. Like, so they nerf it like on the base, which is the way it should be, because that was too high of a base. But if you're scaling into spirit power, then you get more value out of it. It's just like I don't even have to say nothing. They just know. They just know. They're just smart. Soul rebirth no longer against twenty percent weapon damage. Soul rebirth cooldown reduction reduced from eighteen percent to fifteen percent. Wow, they they got in this item. Unstoppable fix, not preventing disarm properly. Okay, spirit items. Now, spirit strike melee damage reduced from 15 to 12%. Spirit strike debuff duration reduced from 13 to 11. Spirit shield reduced from 100 to 80. Uh, spirit strike region reduced from 1 to 0.8. Wow, they gutted spirit strike. Mystic reach spirit resist increased from 5 to 6%. Ability range from 15 to 16%. Extra spirit. Once extra spirit, ammo scavenger neutral kill, not kind of soul capture. Ammo scavenger buff duration increases 35 to 40. Withering whip, fire rate, increases 34 to slowing hex. Projectile speed increased by 20%. Dude, fuck this item, dude. It's so broken. Quick silver reload damage increased from 50 to 65. Surge of power and beauty is now 10, 10 fire rate when used. Same six seconds duration as a move speed above. Six seconds of 10 fire rate and thus. Rapid recharge. Let me see how this feels. You are not gonna regret that. Channeling spirits. What? Bet they were fighting for this. Uh, yeah, I saw this my two patch. <sighs> Rapid recharge now gains 12% weapon damage. Tier 1 charge gives an extra 6%. Wow. I love rapid recharge. This is big. Improved burst damage reduced from 10%. Max HP to 9%, improve reach, spirit power increase from 6 to 8. Torment pulse health increase 125 to 140. Silence glyph, spirit shield reduction from 200 to 150. Echo shard, spirit power from 8 plus 12. Yeah, I needed that. Heroes, Abram's fix, seismic impact getting stuck on stadiums like in mid boss room. Aim, nice. A Abram's shoulder charge turn rate reduced a bit. Woo. 
Abram's infernal resilience it reduced from 17 to 16. Abram's shoulders hurt some time reduced from one second to 0 0.85. Does that mean you can parry now? I think you can parry now. I'm actually not sure. Bebop uppercut no longer roots your hero during cast time. Bebop can now keep firing if he jumps and his lasers are already warmed up. Bebop can now keep firing if he, if he jumps and his lasers are already warmed up. Bebop uh, revert recent change to make Hook have an alternate cast mode to pierce through allies and enemies. So what now? You can you just hit enemies and Bebop Hook range reduced from 35-30. Bebop hyper beam now to splash damage on a 5 meter area. The beam connects on the ground can be used to fish heroes out of cover in some areas. Dynamo Rejuvenating Aura no longer gets cancelled when stamina is used. Nice. Rejuvenating Aura Tier 3 reduced from 4 to 3.8%. Uh, kinetic Pulse Tier 1 reduced from 40% to 35%. Quantum Entanglement cooldown increased from 11 to 12. Small nerfs all around. Great Talon fixed issues where with charge shot hitting targets behind walls. Yeah, that needed to be fixed. Fixed Guide Owl doing damage through buildings. That needs to be fixed. Great Talent Rain of Arrows. And weapon damage reduced from 7 to 4. Oof. Great Talent Tier 2 weapon damage reduced from 7 to 5. Great Talent Blood Damage Growth per Boon increased from 1.4. Okay. Great Talent Guided Owl. Cooldown increased from 110 to 120. Damn, they hit Talent pretty hard. Fixed Issues with Sleep Dagger hitting targets behind walls. Yeah, I've seen that. IV Fixed some Control Issues with Find Your Wall. Airdrop the Silence and Slow Debuff Duration reduced from 4.5. Oh boy. Arctic Beam Fire Rate Slow Reduced from 80% to 40% Kelvin Arctic Beam Movement Slow Reduced from 80% to 70% Kelvin Objectives and Rejuvenator are now frozen and invulnerable when under a frozen shelter Kelvin Ice Path and Arctic Beam can now also be cancelled by hitting the ability again Objectives and Rejuvenator are now frozen and invulnerable when under the frozen shelter Wow, you see I told you that was a problem with him and they fixed it. I literally, every time, everything they say that I say, they just fixed it. It's like, you're just so on point. Lady Guys, Essence t uh, Bomb, Tier 3 damage, increased from 22 to 26. Lady Guys has a bomb spirit scaling. For, okay, an extra 0 0.10, 0 0.1. Uh, Lady Guys fixed a recent bug with Malice that caused multiple blood shards to be absorbed by one hero and then passed through and hit others. It didn't stick, didn't stack that way in, in any case. Lady Guys self damage no longer consumes consume shield. General change. Lash ground slam now allows you to turn during the descent. A fun little fact: the lash used to do. I can't wait to send them airborne. An <laughs> oh! I'm coming, baby. Here I come. Let's dance, buddy. Let's go. I'm about to ruin the day. Oh my god, they're so good. Lash bullet growth from 1.5 to 0 0.9. Oof. Lash ground strike uh, spirit scaling increase from 0 0.7 to 0 0.85. Lash ground strike damage per meter scaling increase from 0 0.45 to 0 0.5. You want to mess with the lash? Try to run. Here comes the lash. You're not taking me down. McGinnis met dissonal specter radius reduced from six meters to five meters. Major specter reduced from now grows the spirit power 0 0.07. Can no longer wall jump from spectral wall. McGinnis spectral wall min range re reduced from seven to six meters. Wall. Okay. Molten Krill camera zooms out a little bit when unbarreling can cast scorn while using combo. Wow. Combo tier 2 reduced from 1 second to 0 0.75. Paradox fist fixes to the paradox of hitting targets behind walls. Yeah, that was happening to me a lot. Pocket barrage, uh, barrage amp stacked reduced from 7 to 6%. Barrage uh, slow reduced from 40 to 3%. Added a brief lockout period on flying coke to prevent. Okay. Yeah, this was happening to me a lot. And kind of nerfed the pocket. Seven base bullet resist from eight to zero percent. Oof. Seven bullet resist no longer scales with boons. Seven headshot reduction from twenty-five to thirty-five percent. Oh wow, they did this. Nice. That's what I was saying. It's too long. It's too uh, nice. Okay. I mean, seven got a nice little buff. 
Shiv, fix issue with serrated knives hitting targets hand walls. Uh, slice and dice damage reduced from 125 to 105. Blood uh, deferred damage cleared reduced from 50% to 40%. Killing blow bonus damage from full rage reduced from plus 25 to plus 20%. Shiv, killing blow tier 2 now also. Killing blow tier 2 now also increases rage amp by 5%. Okay, vicious. So let me see a vicious puddle punch. Not correctly knocks people in the cube up in the air in the cube. Improve vicious various issues with camera. Yeah, puddle punch now telegraphs an, an effect before it forms. I think I like the surface. Who would have thought that punching strangers would feel so good? This may hurt. <sighs> Base bullet damage reduced from 14 to 13. Splatter damage reduced from 110 to 100. Goo ball terrain improved the bit. Vicious goo ball stun frequency. Cooldown improved from 1.5 1.25. Puddle punch piercing unstoppable. Map changes, inner lane changes, added connections, added connections from the shop to the front of the department store and the New York Oracle buildings added a veil in the opening of the front door. This also added a cover barrier in the front of the opening of the veil. Most catwalk stairs in front of the department. Wow, that's a big one. I like that. Angle the walkway connection from outer lanes, exit the inner lanes, added an overhang below the patron position, added two juke. Closets. Remove the exterior rope from the garage and nightclub. Replace interior. I love how they put pictures. Rooftop changes. Raise of other and porch rooftops to match heights of the record store and comedy club. Removed rooftop details from roofs that are not safe. Added rooftop details to new valley roofs. Miscellaneous change collision on the shelves. Bug fixes. My God, bro. All right, well, time to play. I 